say then what is it? Uh, okay, so for all of us, what, how do we live our days? What is the best way to just go about it? Give us in clear, simple, simple sentences, do this and you will be at least on the way to being blissful or happy or aware or living in a nice conscious way. If you, if you just observe, if everybody makes a little effort, everybody take a little time for this piece of life, okay? Not for your family, not for your career, not for something else, something else. Just for this piece of life, give it little time because this is the most important piece of life in your life, isn't it? Yes or no? <laughs> Even if you are in love with somebody, still this is the most important piece of life, isn't it? So pay some attention to this, how does it happen? Why have you taken it for granted? Believe me, you're not going to be here forever. I'll bless you with a long life, but you're going to fall dead one day. <laughs> yes or no? Yes. So, do not take this for granted. If you wake up in the morning, tomorrow if you wake up in the morning <laughs> No, this is not my wish, <laughs> but I want you to know of all the people who go to bed tonight, over a million people will not wake up tomorrow morning. And tomorrow, if you and me wake up tomorrow morning, is it not a fantastic thing? A million people did not wake up, you woke up. Is it not a great thing? Just look at the ceiling and smile, you are still awake, you're still there. And for many, many millions of people, somebody who is dear to them did not wake up. So just check those five, six people around you, they all woke up, wow, it's a fantastic day. <laughs> you woke up and everybody who matters to you around you woke up. Yeah. Is it not fantastic day? Yes. You don't think so. Yes. <laughs> yes. You don't seem to think so. <laughs> yes. Because the problem is just this, you are living with an idea that you are immortal. When I say you're immortal, you're not actually thinking you're immortal, but you're not conscious of your mortality. If you're not conscious of your mortality, somewhere you think you're immortal, isn't it? How many moments in a day are you conscious that you're mortal? If you were conscious, would you have time to crib? Would you have time to fight with somebody? Would you have time to do some rubbish with your life? If you knew, if you are conscious that you are mortal, you would do nothing other than what is absolutely needed for you and everybody around you. This one thing if you do, if you just remind yourself, you don't think this is a negative thing, death is not a negative thing, it's the only thing which is added value to your life. If you are here forever, you would be unbearable. <laughs> yes, yes. Isn't it? Aren't yes. we glad everybody dies one day? If you just become conscious of this one thing, that always you're conscious that I'm mortal, you don't have to think I will die today, we don't intend, we want to live as far as possible, just you know one day I will die. If you're just conscious of this one thing, you will naturally become spiritual. Every day, every moment if you remind yourself, this is a brief life, I'm mortal, one day I will end. Just do this for two days and see, you will become something truly fantastic within yourself, just this is all. That is simply beautiful. That's all that's needed. If you want to know the value of life, just know that it's a brief happening.